Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Alice and this is a very random YouTube setup. We've got some glowing pink purpley lilies. We've got a little Olaf and then we've also got my new favourite book which is the Victorian House Manual by Haynes. And yeah, currently in the process of buying a Victorian house. So if you want to follow along that journey then hit subscribe and follow along. Anyway, today I'm going to do a really random video so it's would you rather. To make this video really quick I'm just going to put the questions up on the screen and then I'm going to say my answer. I got these questions from a website online. There were about 100 questions and I've chosen just 12. So if you want, you can go and look and see what the other questions are. I would rather see 10 minutes into the future. Seeing 150 years into the future would kind of freak me out, although I would be dead at that point. I still, I think it would just be a bit hideous. And also seeing 10 minutes into the future can be quite beneficial because you can change your actions now to make the 10 minutes in the future better. <laughs> I feel like this question is just a bit silly. Like, obviously I'd rather have 10 years with my partner than a one night stand with a celebrity crush. I don't even know who my celebrity crush is. This. I think it could be tricky for some people to decide, but I think I'd rather be in a coma for 10 years. I just think that like being in jail would completely like institutionalise me and I would come out some sort of... I don't know, maybe some people come out better, but I, I don't know, I think it would just be weird. But then also it would also be weird because of where we are now compared to where we are and where, compared to where we were in 2013, the whole world has changed. But it would be quite nice to go to sleep for 10 years and then wake up, and then you get a fright because you might have aged by 10 years. And so much will have happened. But I think I would rather be in a coma for 10 years than go to prison. Definitely overdressed. I tend to be a slight overdressed. I try not to overdo it, but like, you don't want to show up somewhere where you're like the scruffiest in the bunch. I would always err uh, on the side of overdressed. It's just my style naturally. Like, what kind of question is this? Obviously, I'd rather wear jumpers and. Actually, does heating. Can you, if you give up heating, can you still have an electric blanket? Because then definitely I'd rather give up the heating. But I just couldn't imagine life without the internet especially Google which has been around since 1997 like that is something like I use Google I like probably do like 100 Google searches every day like, I could not imagine my life without the internet but I'd be okay with no heating I say that now but yeah I think I would just get used to it just wear some more socks and buy some warmer clothes I feel like this is quite a tricky question but I think I'd rather have a personal maid especially if they did the ironing because ironing is a job I don't like I quite like cooking, but then it would be good to have a chef. Although they'd probably want to use expensive ingredients, which would cost more. I'd say I'd go for the main. I would love to be nine inches tall. That would be so cute. Yeah, that would be so cute. Especially if I was still in proportion. I look like a little doll. Eleven foot tall would just be awkward. Like, you'd have to get everything designed to fit you. Whereas if you were eleven inches, no, nine inches tall, then you can wear doll clothes. And you've got your wardrobe sorted. And it'll be cheap like a lower cost and buying human clothes so that would be great i don't know i've always wanted to see what it's like to be royalty i think i would actually rather be royalty although they did eat some weird things but i just think like the clothes and things it just would be quite cool and also going for these posh dances is that what they were doing a thousand years ago or maybe i'm more thinking 300 years ago I'm not sure this is hard i think i would go for av no i think i'll go for royalty just to get the see what it's like to live there as a royal person. Well, I'd say the beach because the pool tends to be more noisy and you're more likely to get splashed. Pools tend to have more shrieking children. Beach, the thing is the beach can have a breeze and you can get more chilly, whereas pool tends to not be a breeze. And sometimes there's people coming around with like cocktails if you're saying somewhere all inclusive, or you can go and get cocktails, but then that's also on the beach. Mm, I don't like sand. Yeah, I would say the beach just because it would be a little bit quieter, but then I'd worry about the wind. I'll say beach, beach, beach. Pause button because rewind would just make you overthink and want to go back in time the whole time, but like pause and give myself time to make a decision. Although I already do spend too long making decisions, but having a pause button means I could spend even longer and make sure that the decision I make is the best. I would say full phone battery. Ideally, I'd like my phone battery to always be above 90%. It stresses me out if it gets anywhere below 60%. I'd say phone battery. What kind of question is that? I'd rather lose a day of my life every time I kiss someone and then I'm just rushing out my kisses. Obviously, I'm going to start living life with no teeth because that impacts so much. It impacts, I'll be all like concave and then I'll also have to, I won't be able to eat a lot of foods. So I'll just ration out my kisses. I would rather lose a day of my life every time I kiss someone. Definitely. Anyway, thanks for watching this really random video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and bye.